theories, principles will be there. The, the theories will remain, the principles will remain, but situation will, we will stop on the situation. <laughs> as, per, as per you are situated. Everything, uh, as far as your situation is concerned, no more. We are only talking about principles and theories and how these are applied. Your applications are so different from each other. Okay? So, okay. Then, uh, you ask can, them, I, can I have a question? Sorry. Yes, yes, okay. For everybody, um, especially the people in the Philippines, so um, do we have do we have a like a certain program or MIS that we are using in the Philippines? Is there a standard given by the government, or do we have um, to develop our own? We have to buy our own for every school. I, I think Helen, Evelyn, you can answer that because in the Department of Education, you have your enrollment yes, system. Yes, sir. Uh, you, have, uh, you have all the names of the students uh, in the central office. Yes, sir. In the Department of Education, we have this what we call the LIS or the Learner Information System, in which uh, the the students or the learners who are enrolled are given a specific number which is considered as their student number that uh, in which the data or information regarding them uh, once you are going to um, key in the student number in the, in the system then all the other information will come up. We also have this what we call EBIS uh, which is the basic one the system, something like that. Is this the same information system Website the www.sfa.org.sh. Yes, 
www.gov.ph. For example, you were you you've been assessed in a certain qualification, like for example, Sir Davis, you've been assessed as in the CSS, the Computer Servicing NC2. Then you will be registered in the uh, data. So, if for example, your employer wanted to verify whether you really have this certification, then you can access. He can access it to our website. But uh, the, the problem that we are sometimes experiencing there is uh, since many of the best uh, schools and uh, institutions is making use of that uh, MIS in the downloading of the data, so sometimes we work the, our MIS at work during the night because uh, the, the computer or the internet is fast during the night. And before before we we give the data uh, in our trainees profile or in our application profile or enrollment profile, application profile in the assessment and enrollment profile in the training. So we have their yung consent form first whether they agree on uh, downloading their data to our to our MIS or they will not agree. So, may consent form ka po sila na i-check. Pag ni-check na check nila, yes, then we we have uh, all the privilege to enter their data in our uh, website or in our MIS pala. Okay. So, um so the reason why I'm asking is because I just wanted to um, make the some of the decision making that is happening at your school to our school. Our school, because um, we do uh, look at uh, like especially for grades uh, one to grade, grades one to grade nine, we look at their uh, reading skills and their English skills, and we look at ways. Um, we look at we look at it in many ways, and we generate the data out from the MIS uh, that we have, and recommend certain um, interventions for our students who are not performing well in reading in, and in, in as a whole in, in, in their English skills because as you know our English our, our students here are their primary language is Thai and they they um, what they call this one uh, they're having a hard time learning in uh, English some of them and that's why we are um, focused on keeping track of their performance, their academic performance in reading and um, their whole, their entire English um, uh, skills. I don't know if you have something like that, like you mentioned a while ago, uh, that some students are, are demoted, some students are promoted. How, how are these um, uh, information and how, how do you get those data and maybe not those uh, specific you know, uh, data like the promotion and the promotion of the students, but maybe uh, data that are critical to the improvement of the whole class or the whole student body, um, so that you can look at providing interventions for students who are in a certain category that um, that would benefit from you know certain interventions. Do you have something like that?
So are we sure in our case, we only have it's either competent or not competent. So if you are competent, then uh, you are in our registry of uh, workers accredited and certified. But if not, then it, it was a confidential result. So, uh, however, you, uh, the not, not competent uh, uh, candidate could have been uh, reassessed. So once he is reassessed, then therefore he uh, he will be included in the list of our registry of workers and accreditation certified workers. Are you satisfied? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mosa. I will ask one more question before we go. Suppose I would like to have a list of uh, teachers who are going to retire next year, okay, by sex, by schools, in the division of San Carlos City. Can I have it in a minute or uh, even an hour? Uh, yes, yes, sir, with the use of the online form that they have to answer. Uh, using the Google form. So all the needed data is there, and once the link is distributed or given, then... Uh, oh, do you have it in the back already? Uh, in the yeah, I'm, I'm not with I have to go open the unit so if there's particular data that is there. Because right. if you don't have it in the back, then there's nothing. I cannot, re I cannot access uh, it. Okay. I'm not, I'm not particular whether there is a data that the division office with uh, something like that. Okay, so the MIS is not yet uh, mature. The MIS and the DEPED is not yet mature. It's still limited only to learning uh, to the learners. Yes, and I yes. Um, I'm just curious and just generally curious. Uh, um, right now, are you um, keeping records of how the students are performing amid the pandemic? I know some of you probably are doing online learning or teaching. You are doing modules. Is that critical right now to keep uh, to get the performance of the students? Yes, sir. We are keeping track of their progress. We are being, uh, we are being guided by the order number thirty-one series of twenty, which is regarding assessment. And how are the students performing? I, 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 I get this from their app. So I ask as well. Uh, as of the moment, sir, it is not yet included in their LIS, but uh, the teachers are having the monitoring of their students' progress or learners' progress based on the uh, modules submitted during the week, and then they are consolidating them. And uh, as of the moment, they are in the computation of the grades for the first quarter. That is so, uh, now, yes, sir. So you mean in your case, um, the performance of the students where normally it is entered into your LIS is now separate from your LIS because of the situation? Uh, as of the moment, sir, we'll be using of the ECR or the electronic test record in the computation of their grades. And then once those grades are already complete from first quarter up to the fourth quarter, that is just the uh, it will be an input to the NIS. And also another follow-up question is, are they graded or weighted the same way as normal or is it... Uh, no, sir. There's like, a change in the, in the percentage or the allocation of percentage for the different criteria in the system as well as difference also in the subject areas. So the, the distribution of the weight distribution of, for example, performance, and then uh, the other one is on their uh, performance task, and then the, the written work, something like that. There is a difference compared to that of the pre-pandemic times. So there is really an adjustment in the assessment. Okay. And how are the 
teachers uh, performing their well-being is that being tracked or no? yes sir they are being tracked also we have a regular kamustahan which is held online or virtual and then of course their concerns are being aired and then uh, they share their experiences they share also possible solutions to whether uh, there will be concerns that will, that will come up and then of course uh, the support from the administration is always there. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Uh, I hope everything is clear. Sino pa ba may concern? So, wala na po. Thank you very much po for that very comprehensive and substantial open forum. I learned a lot. Personally, I learned a lot in our open forum. So, before we end, sabi po ni Sir Davis, sorry, dami po questions. It's all right, sir. Okay lang, sir. Marami din pa rin natutunan. So, before we end, uh, on behalf of Section B, EDM 317 class, thank you very much to our Hi, classmates. Thank you for allowing us to share our uh, bits of knowledge to you. Thank you for allowing us to host your class tonight. So, to everyone else who have participated and joined us tonight, thank you very much. You made this web webinar a success. And of course, to our professor, Sir Alfredo, thank you very much for your always uh, for your constant guidance, sir, and inspiration to everybody. So, with that, uh, I'm posting our evaluation link. Later, I will pass that to our, send it to our GC. So, if there's no questions, uh, we want to say thank you very much and to God to all the glory. We hope we enjoyed this webinar. I'm Ethel Grace Gabriel, your host, and Thank you for watching, guys. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you. Uh, maybe we're going to decide up to